Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could use the new Windows 11 terminal app on Windows 10. So if you're running Windows 10, you open a command prompt. You know, it's the same command prompt we've had for years. You have some options if you click up on the upper left corner, uh, you know, change your defaults to go to the properties, you know, font, color, layout, that type of thing. But maybe you have another computer running Windows 11 and you've opened a command prompt and notice that the terminal app is different. You know, it has the tabs, you could run PowerShell Windows from there, or Azure Cloud Shell Windows from there as well. Plus it has a lot of configuration options. So fortunately you could add the Windows 11 style terminal app to Windows 10. All you need to do is go to the Microsoft Store, do a search for Windows Terminal, make sure you get the one from Microsoft Corporation, just download and install it. And then once you click on open, you can see here we have the newer version here. You can even set it as your default in the settings. And then you have a the new tab option here. And if you do the drop down, you could pick what kind of new tab you want if you don't want it to be PowerShell. And then also from the drop down, you could go to the settings. And you could change all these configurations, like for the default profile, if you want it to be just a command prompt instead of PowerShell, you could do that. Uh, if you want this to be the default terminal app application, launch on startup, uh, what happens when you open the terminal, the new instance, size, parameters, you have all, the, all this other stuff here, so I'm not going to go through all these settings, but you could check them out if you decide to try it out. Uh, interaction settings, appearance, if you want to change the theme, it's dark by default, always show tabs, color schemes, if you want to change the font and background, rendering schemes, actions for shortcuts, all your defaults, then you have profile settings for each one of these, and so on. And then after you install it, you should have a shortcut for it in your program list here, terminal right there, and you can you know, add it to your desktop and that kind, of, that kind of thing. All right, so once again, just open the Microsoft Store app, search for Windows Terminal, make sure you get the one from Microsoft. There's also a test one, I think, or a development one as well, but just download the regular one. You could just download and install it, and then of course you could run your old school one if you want as well. So you'll have both options. And I think in Windows 11, you only have the new option. I don't think you have the old school command prompt option. So I guess Windows 10, you could have them both. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.